Welcome to another video tutorial for Scratch on behalf of TazMcCarthy.com. This time we're going to look at making characters shoot out projectiles. In this example, we're going to make the cat shoot out this fireball, just like Dragon Ball Z or Street Fighter or something like that. So far, all I've done is added our basic up, down, left, right controls, like we covered in a previous video for the cat. Only other thing I've done is drawn a sprite for the fireball. What I've set up so far is that when the game starts to send a broadcast for ready. So this is going to make a lot of sense later on but for now set up a broadcast call it anything you like. My first one is for ready. When it receives ready which will be straight away it's going to repeat until the mouse is clicked until the mouse down going to sprite one. We'll have a look what that looks like. You see our fireball has gone to the cat, but because it's on repeat, it follows the cat around. At this stage, as soon as we click, our repeat is broken, and the fireball no longer follows the cat. So our next trick is to put a command for after the mouse is clicked, which will go onto the bottom of here. In this game, I'm going to get it to shoot towards the cursor. So what I'll tell it, tell it to do is to point towards after I click the mouse pointer and then I'll put in a repeat until keep on moving 10 steps forward until it touches the edge. at which time we'll send out the same broadcast for ready which is going to bring us right back to the start of our loop so we'll test that now so we start the game the ready broadcast is sent you can see it's got the white line around it to show us that it's active I move the cat around as soon as I click mouse down if we look at the steps it points towards the mouse which was up here and it repeats until it touches the edge, moving 10 steps, and then it broadcasts ready, which sends it back to the cat. So we can see that it shoots out fireballs. Now it looks a little bit silly having the fireball there, so we'll go to looks and we'll add some shows and some hides. So when it first receives ready, we'll get it to hide. But we want it to show as soon as they click the mouse pointer. So we'll put a show there. We'll test this now. So the cat moves around, the fireball's hidden, but as soon as we click, you can see it again. This works really nicely. To make this more complex, we might like to add a second costume for this sprite, so when it hits the edge, there's an explosion and you would simply add switch to the other costume, wait part of a second and then switch back to the other costume. Other things you might like to do is to have some baddies that you're shooting at. The first thing you would do for that is to create a variable probably for a score and then we might import a random character. We'll make that one smaller because it's way too big. You can see because our script is still going, the cat's shooting at us as we work on it. You'd have to hit the red flag to stop that. Okay, we'll do a very simple script here. We'll just get the bird. When the game starts, forever, we'll tell it to face straight up, and then forever, Keep moving 10 steps, but if it touches the edge to bounce. So we see our bird goes back and forth. Now we'll set up some sort of detection. Once the game starts, forever, check it over and over. If 
the bird touches sprite 2, our fireball, to change the score by 1. So we get it, we might do it by 10 actually. Change the score by 10 points every time that we shoot it. And one other thing we need to do is when the game starts, is set the score back to 0, otherwise people could cheat. So let's test that now. Our bird starts to fly, we can move around with the cat and then try and shoot the bird, which might not be that easy to do. You can see every time it hits it, we're getting points. That's if I can hit it. Okay. One little bug there, the score is going up really, really quick. So like we have in other games, we just need to get it to wait maybe a bit over half a second so it doesn't keep on adding 10 for the split second that the fireball is touching it. You could make this more complicated by getting the bird to go after the cat and you have to shoot it to keep it away, things like that. You could have the bird change its costume every time it got shot. So after it changes the score by 10, change to a second costume, wait a split second, change back and you could also get it to play a sound every time that happened.